Another race here, another circuit race for the Opal. Another exhibition. It's the Woodland Circuit. We're going to use the same drive guitars once again, especially since that last race was so good. So hopefully this one will be just as good. Again, that E-Type just floors me every time I see it. <laughs> Zero to 60 on this thing is like three seconds. With 280 horsepower. Already up to third. Oh, man, that corner just keeps going. That E-Type just barely hanging on there. There we go. Oh, he sticks it around the outside. Impressive. Is he still there? Nope, he's behind me now. Okay. It's that freaking E-Type again. <laughs> I think I might need to buy an E-Type. Yeah, he took that corner all wrong. There we go. Look at the look at the speed we're carrying. Look at the speed. Oh, he's gonna cut back. He cut back. I'm gonna also cut back the double cut back. He's still there. He's on my left. Okay. No, no. I gotta leave him room. I'm gonna leave him room. Okay. Good. We're clear. We're clear. We're clear. I need an eye racing spotter here, man. I did not need to downshift or brake for that. I don't think. I'm just parking it on the apex for most of these corners. Oh god, he is right there. No. Oh god, he got a much better run. I didn't get on the throttle nearly early enough there. Look at him fail at turn one hardcore, though. Every lap. Every lap. I think that's faster. I think that's honestly faster. Big lift. Down to fourth. It's kind of cambered there, so you can carry a little bit more speed than you think. Hugging the inside there. Oh, yeah. Final corner. Big lift through there. Back on the throttle. Let it run out wide. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got that E-Type. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but we got the E-Type. 13,000 XP is going to be enough to level us up to level 263. Could win the M3 Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost. I wouldn't mind that car. Uh, nope, we're going to get a Renault Clio RS200. But hey, it's a car. I will take cars. Got a Byron Bay race here, the Sweeping Forest Sprint. We've actually done the championship, but not the exhibition, interestingly enough. So we'll go ahead and take care of that now. Really banging out these races in the Opal, like just bing, bang, boom. I mean, seriously, I'm motoring through these because it is a fun car to drive, I have to say. This is uh, the A-Class road car is, again, as I mentioned, I think this was probably a couple of videos ago now. <laughs> I've just been recording this for so long, I don't know how many episodes it's been, but um, A-Class street racing is so much better than S1-Class street racing. And I, I never really had uh, A-Class road cars. I've got plenty of A-Class rally cars. Uh-oh. But not road cars. And I have to say, I'm really liking this one, so maybe I need more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at the speed that I'm carrying, carrying all the speed through the corners, Opal GT.
Someone on my left. Someone on my left. This is not an easy race. And I think there's a long flat out section coming up. Yeah, right here. So I might be in some trouble here. Straight line speed is not the strength of the Opal. Although, <laughs> I say that and now I'm catching these guys. Oh, that's right on the limit. Oh, it's about to get real twisty in here. Oh, I bumped the mic. Sorry if you heard that. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. One more corner. One more corner. One more corner. Several more corners, in fact. Break too early for that one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I want to win this. Oh, get to the left. Okay. No. No, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! The E-type again! The freaking E-type! Oh, I need an E-type so badly. Sorry, I'm, sh I'm shaking up a drink. I've been trying to drink healthier drinks, so I've got a drink in a thing. I've got a thing with a drink inside it. Oh, another great race, though. You know, I'm almost happier to get second, you know, narrowly than to dominate in a race, so... I'm glad the uh, AI difficulty is back up where it needs to be. 12,565 experience for that one. Heading back to the Byron Bay Festival site, I am going to... Whoa! Some weird things happened with those headlights there. Do those headlights fold in sideways? That was really strange. That was very strange. Uh, so yeah, let's find another car that we can turn into a street racing car. Um, hmm. I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna do this Firebird. Yeah, I'm gonna do this Firebird. We're gonna turn this into an A-class street race car. Uh, again though, I am gonna make it all-wheel drive. Clearly, I just, you know, I, I don't know if it's because I'm on the wheel, but I definitely seem to lean towards the all-wheel drive vehicles in this game, even for street racing. Um, they just, the handling on them feels more natural to me, so, uh, let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Okay, we're at 749 PI, and we haven't even touched the engine yet, so this it could be a lower-powered vehicle, although it weighs quite a bit more than the Opal did, so, uh, let's see what we can do with this. We, uh, I went for the exhaust, because the exhaust adds power and also removes weight. I'm gonna do the intake as well. And then, yep, I do want to improve the intake manifold, throttle body stuff. And then let's see what else we can do. Probably not, no. Uh, pistons. There we go. And then we'll go for a flywheel. And that'll be that. So this is the full list of parts for the Firebird. Or for the Trans Am, whatever you want to call it. 293 horsepower, 3,300 3, pounds. So it weighs like 50% more than the Opal, but has about the same amount of power. I don't think this is going to be a very good car. Uh, we'll try it out at a couple of races, but I don't think this is going to be very good. Also, I want to check to see if there's a design that makes it look like Knight Rider. Yep, there's a Knight Rider design. Gonna go ahead and install that. Alright, we're gonna start off with a sprint race in Byron Bay that I've actually never done before. I think it was called the Grand Tour Sprint Race, actually. Oh, right, this is the one for the Grand Tour. Yeah, for the actual TV show, the Grand Tour, which uh, I've never done. I think if I do this in Rivals mode, I actually get some sort of prize or something. So, uh, let's go ahead and try uh, this Pontiac out in Rivals mode. I don't know exactly what the rules are for it and everything. Uh, 157 miles per hour seems about right, and we are going to go ahead and jack up the front downforce as well. 
And let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see what we can do with this, uh, with this Firebird. Okay. 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 Well, it's pretty quiet. I'll give it that. It's definitely a quiet car. Feels slower than the Opal. Definitely feels slower than the Opal. Yeah, that's a really tight corner. I don't want to be drifting that one at all. I think the benefit of this car over the Opal is the huge tire size, but I mean, is it really a benefit? Am I going to make up that much time in the corners with huge freaking tires? Probably not. I don't think so. I mean, the Opal would have been flat out through all of this stuff. The ghost is actually catching me, so that's bad. Yep, I'm gonna lose to the ghost. I'm gonna lose to the ghost. We might have to revisit the tuning on this uh, Firebird. We still got some time, though. 25% left in this race. Hopefully he'll make a mistake or something. Oh, God. And I flagged the time. That was much tighter than I thought it would be. I tried to carry as much speed as the guy in front of me, and I just couldn't. Which is crazy, because you the benefit of this car is supposed to be the handling. It's supposed to handle really well. And it just doesn't. Just doesn't. really strange how quiet it is as well considering this is supposed to be like an 80s muscle car yeah yeah I super lose uh want to collect my reward that's for sure I'm gonna try again uh I believe the ghost that I'm racing is actually my Krobido, uh and he's no slouch obviously so that could be part of the reason that I'm struggling so much. Hopefully with a bit of track knowledge, I'll be able to get a better time this time, though. I wasn't that far off of him. Alright, so second gear for this one. Don't drift it. Don't drift it. Or even third gear. Yeah, third gear seems best for a lot of the corners that I think are second gear. Like this one coming up, pretty, you know, almost 90 degree left. You would think it's second gear, or I would normally think it's second gear, but in fact it is third gear. Nearly fourth even. Like this, I would have expected that to be second gear, but no, it's third. I think fourth for this one. I definitely have a bigger lead than I did on the last one, so I think I can, I think I could win this one. But again, I think we need to uh, trade some grip for some power in this car. Oh, he's coming. He is coming up behind me. I think he has the power advantage as well. Oh, 
Oh god, he is right there. He is right there. No. I didn't even need to lift for that corner. Why did I lift? He's got me. I'm gonna blame the car, though. I am 100% gonna blame the car. This car is pretty crap, not gonna lie. So, let's try retuning it, and then let's revisit this and see if we can do any better. I think we're gonna level up from this, though. Yep, we sure are, so we'll get a wheel spin before we head back to the festival site. Could win the F-Type R Coupe, you guys know how I feel about the F-Type. And we've won the F-Type. 